All right, we're out here at Deef. It is windy outside. Pulling my shack and I am going for some bourbon today. Oh, I got my depth finder. I'm just gonna try to figure out where I'm gonna fish. I don't think it's gonna really matter. Right now, we just wanna get out of the wind. But I'm thinking maybe on this point here. Maybe. Looks like a good drop there right at the edge of the edge of the bay here. So I'll get set up. Get this done. It is a beautiful day out, except it is very windy today. And my brother is heading out to Slave Lake, I think, in Alberta. And I got a buddy coming out and we're gonna kick their butts tonight. So we're both going for burbot and walleye. And I'll show you where we're set up here. So, set up at about 30 feet of water. It's a gradual slope down here. And it's gonna drop off fast from here. So we're gonna set the shack up at 30. And I gotta go back in and get things organized and get ready for the night bite. We're starting our fire. So all you do is dump a little bit of gas on it. Just a little bit. And then you, you back up a little bit. And that's how you get a fire going. I thought it was going to explode a little more. So, we're just setting up here. It's like 30 below, and we're going to crush my brother in Alberta tonight for bourbon. He's going for bourbon, and we're going for bourbon. That's my buddy Clint. And it's just about sunset here, and I'll show you guys what we're doing and how we're setting up. It's really foggy in here. So there's a weight and a piece of Cisco head. And you drop that to bottom on your second line. Boom. All right. We have all our lines set up. Uh, a little shack and got my buddy Clint here. Uh, good video. I'm gonna put our depth fighter down and start pounding bottom. I switch to a minnow and we're seeing fish come in. Not biting, so they're probably walleye. Still sticking around though. There he's right there. He's on you just just a little. Yeah, there you go. There is little fishies down there. Doing something checking us out. Playing the waiting game. Neat little contraption here. Boom. Charge those guys up. That's Clint's secret. I'm not supposed to show that to you guys. He's mad at me now. <laughs> Still waiting for fish. The bite is early though. Sean probably hasn't caught anything either, so. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Just hit bottom, yeah, right? yeah. Just let it to the bottom. Not a big bourbon coming there. Just nice and easy now. Just start tapping bottom. Like, yeah. There you go. You got him. Ah! Okay, just so lay down there. He'll, it. he'll bite. I let him suck on it a little bit next time he takes it. Let's see. There he is. 
Got him? It's not big. Forty-five. Burbot time. You gonna dig deep in there for him, bud? Oops. He's a little guy. He's just lots of shaking. There he is. Is that a bird? Yeah, it's a bird. It's a nice one. Good luck. <laughs> All right, we are on the board. Need some pliers? Because I don't have any. Another burb down there. Try to get them. We'll get a double header here. Get your pliers out, bud. Yeah. Gotta take your time. First burb, buddy Clint got him, and I'm gonna send that into my brother. Good stuff. Another little guy. Don't say that. Hooked up, oh, oh, number two. No, no. He's got some. He's got some back to him. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Might be into a better fish here. I just brought my line up, charging it up, and let Clint get the fish. I'm a nice guy. Aren't I, Clint? Yes, you are. <laughs> Where is he? He's coming up. There's our second bird of the evening. Big rolls. Big rolls. Oh, here he is. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's gone. He lost him at the hole. No, I didn't. Did I? Oh, well. Oh, <laughs> I leave and Clint catches a nice four or five pound burb. Beautiful fish. Jacker's gone off. Did it pull anything? Aw. Uh -huh. Could have just tapped it. Nothing, eh? That's weird. I don't know, man. No. Okay. Ooh. Like this. So it is nine o'clock, had a bit of a lull there. Our pager went off. And we have a bourbon. Oh, it's right at the hole. It's a bigger one or what? Yeah, nice little four pounder. You could probably just pull them right up. You're on fire today. I haven't caught a fish yet. <laughs> now you gotta set that back up if you want. <laughs> I go back in the warm. Got our steel tub full of burbs. Hopefully catch a few more. Got our fire going. We have enough wood for probably another hour. It's been a decent night. Nothing crazy, but nothing to complain about. Oh, 
We just finished up fishing for the night. Three burbot and it is cold outside. So anyway, hope my brother did well in Alberta. He says, said he caught a few walleye and some burbot, probably all small. He has to come to Diefenbaker to catch some big fish. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone and uh, hope you enjoy the next episode of 39 Hours on Wednesday.